Hello survivors and welcome back to another episode of How to Mod 7 Days to Die. Now currently this is an Alpha 15, if you're watching Alpha for 16 plus or there's any major changes, this video may be out of date but look in the description for an updated video or if there's any small changes usually people comment it in the comments or I've put it in the description itself. Now moving on, welcome to another bullshit, uh, no bullshit, another bullshit tutorial, another no bullshit tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys basics on on how to mod in recipes. Let's say uh, we're popped into creative here if we go to our cutscene. Now if you look here I've gone and I've looked for the White River flag which is actually under the dev blocks in the creative menu. Now what I want to do is I want to take a look at it and I want to see what the number is beside that block. If you look there you can see it. Now that number will tell you the reference number of the item you need to mod in as a recipe. Now that's important because sometimes the items in the XML files aren't exactly, or, in the, or the blocks, aren't exactly the same as they are in the game. So make a note of that number. That number is going to be the number one thing that you need to know. Now of course you already know how to get to your mod files. Uh, you've watched my video. If you haven't watched a video on how to back up your game saves in your mod files, definitely check that out. It's down in the description as well too you want to do that before you start any of this because if you mess up you can always just go right back instead of having to reinstall the game or get really frustrated with everything going on so now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into uh, as you can see I have a backup right here config copy I'm gonna go into my actual config files and I'm gonna search if I do control F I'm gonna search for the recipes file there we go R E C I P E S and we're gonna right click on that and we're going to go open with and you want to open it with notepad don't automatically click it because it'll open it in an internet explorer or your default uh, browser uh, but you, you can't edit it in that form now this is what you get when you pull up the xml in your wordpad now all this basically is is just a plugin to tell the game this is how you act this uh when this happens and this makes this and this turns into that so that's in a nutshell exactly what this is now I know you're looking at it and you're probably going holy fuck but it's actually really simple now this is the start of the list of recipes what you want to do is um, all the time this is how I quickly go around it is you want to search recipes if we go down down right to the end there we go now as you can see my bar is all the way down at the end and I'm at a section that says slash recipes okay so that tells you this is the end of the recipes file anything after this is just notes if you ever see anything like this the um, I actually forget what to call that thing uh, but the exclamation mark and the two dashes and then that's just just a comment that means that it's going to ignore this um, when it's when it's mod or when the game's modded in. and as you can see it, the comment is edited out at the end by doing the arrow over again so this is just a comment ignore it this is um, the dev doing their crap I guess this is what they wanted to add in later uh, I've of course I've, I've moved some stuff over myself but um, I should actually clean that up this I have my to-do stuff in here as well too but the most important thing is always work at the end of your recipe list because if you have to come back in and delete a recipe you want to know where it is and it, I just always piled them right into the end now we are gonna break down our basic recipe list so this is how it works you have your first line this one right here and this one tells the file its basic thing it's a your recipe name so you can name your recipe uh you actually you can't name your recipe whatever you want you have to name your recipe after the item or the block you want to make in this case animal gore is an actual block so you guys are probably going now uh, you know where do i find the blocks where do i find the items We'll, we'll go over that in a little bit here. I just want to show you the basics breaks down of how a recipe works. So the first line here, recipe name equals animal gore. Uh, count equals one. That's going to tell you when you do make one of these, it makes one. Now, if you want, let's say, uh, to make multiples, you can go animal gore, count equals 10. So when you make one, it actually creates 10. Now, of course, I don't want that. But the next part of that, shows craft area equals chemistry station so what I've done is I've said well you should have to make animal gore in the chemistry station now the other stations are workbench and of course your uh, your campfire 
So keep that in mind as well too. If you ever, ever get lost guys, if you're like, I can't remember the name of how a station works, um, you can always do a control F in, well, go up if you're at the bottom to look up, down if you're at the top to look down, of course. Now, the second lines, the, the next lines, the ones that are indented like this, are your ingredients. So of course, you have to have this at the beginning, and ingredient name equals, in, in quotations, femur. That is actually the bone. That's why I was saying the items in the game may not be exactly the same as they are in the, uh, the recipes or the items list or the blog file. So this one here, you need, a, you need one bone to make, and on the second line, you also need rotting flesh. Uh, count equals three. So you're going to need one bone and three rotting flesh. And then once I've got the items I want together, I want to wrap up that recipe and tell it this is the end of this recipe by doing the slash recipe. Now, we're going to build one here together. We're actually going to go and we're going to find the flagpole and we're going to go ahead and go over to 7 days to mod.com. The link is also down in the description as well. Everything I've shown you here is down in the description. And then if you look, if you go up to config, what it does is this site's really, really handy. It has a breakdown of everything. Now, when you're modding stuff or putting recipes in, you're either going to make recipes for blocks or you're going to make recipes for items. So that's the two things. Items are stuff you can loot. Blocks are obviously, well, blocks. So in this case, the flagpole, that's a block. So we're going to go ahead and click on blocks, and it's going to load it up. Now, by this time, if you haven't wrote it down, you might actually forget the number. So I'm going to go ahead and type in flag. Now, if you look up flag, uh, by con or by control pressing control F control F is your fine function I think it's control s or something on some other platforms, but I'm using Chrome So it's control F on Chrome So I typed in flag and it brought me to one of the first search results Which is a uh, flagstone drywall block and it's gonna give me ten of those so I'm gonna go okay Well, that's not what I want. I want uh, let's try right river There we go there you go. See, because I forgot the number already, which was 1924. I was able to break it down to just one thing by going to a different word, White River. So, of course, now we have the flagpole, White River, done up. So, if you pay close attention as well to here, guys, this is very, very, very important. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because this is the, the actual full name. I'm going to go ahead and go back. You guys can see I have a whole shitload of stuff open right now. And I'm going to go back to my recipes file. And I'm going to paste that right there because I'm like, you know what? That's the one I want to make just so I remember. Now, this is very important, guys. You can't just type these things in. Capitals matter. Um, as you see, it has flag and then P, capital P for pull capital W for white and capital R for river. If you don't put these capitals in, it will not work for you. That's why I say copy and paste everything, even if you know the item itself. Just that way you'll avoid any issues and having to come back to here and figuring out the fuck you did wrong. So now, of course, like I said, um, to avoid any issues, I know all of these work. So what I'm going to do is I know I want to make the flagpole in my workbench. So I'm going to go up to one of my recipes, copy the first line, there we go. And of course, we have the first line of our recipe. Now, I know I don't want to make one uh, a yellow car. What I've done is added cars to the server that you can make with shams uh, to get engines. You can build them, then break them down to get your engines. Because, of course, cities always get raped for all the cars. But this time, we are going to be making our flagpole White River. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and copy that in the first line. And like I said, this is how I do it. You guys might find a way more efficient way to uh, to do it yourself. And I, I welcome anybody that has any comments. Uh, that'll make anybody's life easier doing this in the future. Now, now I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, okay, so I got the flagpole white river. Count equals one, so I know it's going to make one. And my craft area equals the workbench. Now, like, like I said, guys, typos, spaces, and... Cap or capitals are very important in this. If you go like this, it's not going to work. Uh, you'll get up to animal gore in your in your recipe list, and you won't see anything after this, or you won't see this recipe or anything after it. Which is also why I said go to the end of your recipe list to make these. Now, I'm at a loss of what to make this with, right? So I'm going to go back to 7daysdemod.com, and I'm actually going to go ahead and click on that item. 
Now, because I'm doing this on a server and I don't want people to uh, to abuse the fact, uh, like be able to make something and then break it down for more items than it costs to make, uh, this is what it is, or this is how I do it. So, of course, I'm going to come to here and then I'm going to click on the flagpole river. Oops, I already did that. We're going right back to where we started. Okay, so it basically says this is all this information, right? All it does is it, it breaks down into a scrap metal pi or pile for one. And the prob probability is 75%. So it's, it's really, really high up there. Now, there's no other information, which means you can't break this item down to get items out of it. Like, let's say with a wrench, right? It can only break down or fall or be destroyed. Okay, well, that's all good. Now, I know um, people can't break this down and, and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do... You know, I'm going to go, well, there's a flag, so it, it's going to need, hmm, uh, it's, it's, it's going to need some fabric. It's going to need a lot of fabric. It's going to need uh, some poles, probably, maybe some iron for welding. So this is where you can get creative and put your items in. What I actually want to do now is show you guys something that actually can get broken down so that I can tell you how to look it up. To, uh, to make sure that you can't break something down for more than you paid to make it, right? Unless that's what you're going for. But we're going to go to ceiling lights. Uh, where is it here? Aha. Ceiling light 07. See, these don't tell you that they have switches in the, um, in the XML. So that's where you really need to come up with the number, right? Now, here we go. This one's a lot more functional. Uh, extends. This is where you want to look it up. Uh, harvest, uh, name electrical parts, uh, count two, probability one. So the most electronic electric electric parts is going to drop. Is it, all, it has two probabilities for doing the same thing, right? But you're going to look at you're going to look at it and you're going to go, oh shit! Well, we got electric parts, and the max we're going to get from breaking it down is two. So I should probably require two electric parts in the in the recipe to make it. Also, electronic parts. If I look, there's two rows. Max you can get is three, so I should probably make it three electronic parts to make. Uh, and scrap plastics, well, you can only get one, so I should probably throw one in there as well too. Now this already does, of course, have its own recipe, but that's how I avoid, you know, the the imbalances of having too much, or being able to make one thing and then break it down for more than you pay for it, right? Which is kind of how the cars work, but that's that's kind of the point on the multiplayer server. Now we got everything we need, right? But let's assume you don't know much about items in the game. So I'm going to think, okay, well, I need, I, need, I need scrap. I need scrap iron. I need, uh, because I, I'm definitely going to throw some scrap iron into that. So I'm going to go up. You know, you can either search it or look up. Here we go. I got an ingredient line here that says ingredient name equals scrap iron. Count equals 200. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to copy that. And then go down here. Whoops. Uh, cancel that. I'm going to go down here and paste it in, of course, keeping it all in line with the rest. And there we go. I have my first item in the recipe line. So to make the flagpole, you're going to have to have 200 scrap iron. But you know what? That's not good enough yet. We're going to need a lot more for this. Um, <laughs> I already have it here, actually. Uh, now, there we go. So, of course, I know I want cloth. So to find it, of course, if I didn't already know where the recipe was, if I was just adding my first one for the first time, I'm going to go search and then I'm going to go cloth, right? Uh, a lot of the small items like cloth and scrap iron, they're, they're, they're fine. But if you look, even the scrap iron has a capital I on it. And that's very important. So the easiest way I find to do it is just copy existing lines and then change the count if you need to do it. But we're going to go ahead and find cloth. Okay, cool. Here's a line with cloth in it. And you know what? 50 sounds pretty fair. It should take about 50 cloth to make that flag. So I'm going to go ahead and put that line in there and actually keep that. There we go. Awesome. But you know what? I also think, too, that this needs a bunch of pipes because it's made out of pipes, right? So I'm going to go and... You know what? I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to go pipe. I'm going to just search pipe, see, see what we got. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So if I searched up, it said we have short metal pipe count equals one. You know, and I'm going to have to change that count, but I know short metal pipe 
is a pipe I need. And once again, it's got a capital M and a capital P, something that would be impossible to tell unless you actually searched it and had the right item number. Now, like I said, if you try to throw in items that don't actually exist, uh, you'll either have no crafting a uh, crafting menu, nothing in your crafting menu at all, or it'll stop at the last item that was actually valid for items. And then anything past that, it's going to go now. You can't make those unless you fix that one item. So that's an easy way to tell too where you fucked up is at the last item is where you fucked up. It's going to be the next one. So um, that's why I usually only add like 10, 15, 20 things at a time. Go and test it out. Okay, we're good. If not, I go back and then I, I take a look over. Like, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead and you know what? I think I'm done. I, I think I'm done adding items in. Flay, pull, right river is good. We go file, save, save that shit. Now it's good. It's good to go when you load up your game. Uh, it'll, it'll load up this file. But as you can see, I haven't told this that this recipe is over and the file just ends in recipes. So it's going to get confused. It's going to go, I don't see the end of the file and I don't see the end of this recipe and most likely not give you any recipes or you're going to get a bunch of console errors popping up on you like crazy. So you know something's wrong, right? So just come back, just take a double look at everything and make sure you've compiled it all correctly. And also, this is one thing I was always bad for and that's why I want to point it out. Make sure you have that recipe line in at the end. So basically, that's how you make shit. That's how you make recipes. So now when I go in the game, I'm actually going to go ahead and keep this flagpole uh, with the 200 scrap iron on it because I, I like that better now. So this will be an actual change on my server. So I'm going to go ahead up to the old uh, the old recipe. You can have more than one recipe for more than one or for the same item as well too, guys. Keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and actually delete it because I do want to add that scrap iron to it. Make it a wee bit harder to make that thing. Cool. So that's how you do it, guys. It's that easy. Now, once you do this 10, 20, 50, or like me, 600 times, I've added over 600 um, items, uh, craftable items into the game on the server, you'll, you'll, get, you'll be able to do this within a matter of seconds. You'll know what the items are called. I'll just search scrap iron, cloth, short metal pipe, bam, 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 copy it all. Now the recipe, move on to the next block, right? So what's important, get that block number, find the proper block name on the website, and then copy that block name into your recipe and then decide what you want to build that item. Um, if I wanted to with this flagpole right river, I could have did in ingredient name equals wood, count equals one. So you can literally make a thousand flagpoles with one tree. But like I say, that one's up to you guys. And as usual, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, I am running on Windows 10. Uh, I don't really know Windows 7 or below for this kind of thing. I've had a few people actually ask about them already. And uh, if anyone knows or if you have problems, definitely lay it down in the comments and let me know how successful you guys were. Because this is my first shot at modding tutorials. I'm learning myself and as I get confident with it, I'll pass that knowledge on to you guys because I know there's not much out there. But as usual guys, always back up those game saves. If you don't know how, look down in the description. I have a video about it now. I'll see you in the next video. Stay classy. Always survive. See you guys later. Have a good one. Happy modding.